A learner from a Soweto high school has died in hospital following a fatal stabbing attack at school. It's alleged that the attacker was defending his younger brother when he stabbed the youth at the Taba Jabula Secondary School in Pimville during the break. Another incident uh, as well on Thursday afternoon, learners from the Khaliksdal Secondary School um, were threatening to fight back uh, around gangsterism that was affecting their school after a grade 10 learner uh, was also succumbed, also succumbed to his injuries from a stabbing incident at the school. What is going on and what is the Gauteng Education Department going to do about it? We're joined by the Gauteng Education MEC, Matome Chilwane. MEC, good evening to you and welcome. If we can start with that attack in Soweto, the alleged attacker only in grade nine, nine police custody. What is your message in the wake of tragedies like this and the one in Khalidzdal and many others over the last uh, few months in the province alone? Uh, good evening to good evening to obvious. Uh, it is uh, uh, concerning for us as a department to experience such, uh, and 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 uh, we are really worried that uh, there seems to be a silent escalation of uh, uh, violent attacks on each other from from learners, such as the incident in Soweto, uh, the, um, the the last few incidences in that area. Uh, but also the one of uh, uh we know that this time it's not necessarily learners, uh, but uh, people from outside the school who have uh, stepped and, uh, and and really killed the, the learner there in our school. So the, the, the level of violence really, it's, it's what is worrying us. And the silence of our communities is even worrying us more. Uh, uh, we do our best as a department to ensure that our schools remain safe, which of which they are because majority of the incidences happen outside the schools, uh, uh, safe to say the one in Soweto, but majority uh, the outside the school, and, and that's an area where we don't really have much control. So at best, what we'll do is to ensure that we enforce and strengthen the security in schools, especially identified schools in hotspot areas. Schools are not hotspots. The areas that they might fi they find themselves are uh, because schools generally are receptors of the, commun the community around them. Well, let's stay with the, with the one that is within, let's say, within your control as, uh, the, the, as, as, as the Department of Education. And this is the incident in Soweto. What new information have you managed to gather there about why this happened before we get to what security measures should have been in place when parents send their children to schools? Yeah, we, I'm still waiting for a full comprehensive report uh, thus far. So as soon as I get it, I'll be able to then explain what next. But however, we are very, 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 very worried. Uh, one of the most worrying uh, aspects is the fact that children are bringing dangerous weapons to schools. And, and truth is that these weapons, they leave home with them. Uh, and my appeal to parents is that from time to time, please check on your children. You know, if you feel, check on the utensils in the house, I mean, because they do take these particular knives, et cetera, from, our, from their homes. And, and really, so parental yeah. guidance, parental oversight is necessary, you know, to check on your children. And if you see there's a problem, communicate with your school that I think my child is saying there's something wrong with my child. He seems to be a bit off. I found a weapon in his bag. What is happening in the school? So that we're able to stop and keep the problem before an incident happens, such as the one in Soweto and all over, all, all, the, all over incidences all over our province, yeah. M M C uh, Chilwane, what you're saying is valid. Education and safety of students should be a partnership between parents and the schooling authorities. But you cannot abdicate your responsibility and the duty that you have uh, as an institution um, to make sure that when kids are in school, they are safe. This incident in Soweto happened, I understand, during the break. There was an altercation that broke out and somebody's uh, life was lost. How do these weapons get into school? Can you tell us about the school in question? Is there, are there metal detectors? Is there a fence that prevents somebody from passing something to a student while they are in there and, and is it not your responsibility to make sure that only they have access to school premises yeah yeah um no that's that's a good question uh, firstly remember we don't our schools are not uh, prisons uh, a school is a learning institution 
and and we as much as uh, we would want to do uh, obviously as a concerned parent would say why are you not putting metal detectors in school but it will be sending a wrong message uh, all in all because most of our schools don't have the problem that that was experienced in in, in soweto uh, most of the schools are functioning properly learners are really disciplined uh, schools generally have minor incidences um, but uh, in schools that are like that one that are located in such areas, we really need to come and, uh, and brief up, you know, and really become more proactive in ensuring that we safeguard the schools. That includes some of the programs that we can, initiative interventions rather that will have such a search and seizure, and now search and seizure in schools to search uh, and to for whether it's weapons, whether it's uh, drugs uh, and so forth. So it needs to happen on a regular basis. So we will be engaging with our our uh, sister department, law enforcement agencies, to really come with a plan to focus on such schools because now we know where they are. We know our communities that are riddled with gangsterism, that are riddled with uh, substance abuse, and that's where we should focus and have such. Uh, we do have, but however, we need to intensify so that we we, we really send a message and really. Did, you know, send as a deterrent because as they see, as the search and see, um, they will begin to be scared to bring such weapons into school. Well, what, will be, what will happen here? I mean, and, and you're right. I mean, in communities where there are, the, there are bigger problems, um, you know, certainly you need a bigger measures uh, to be in place, even when kids are out of school and they are just in the vicinity of the school, potentially. But again, to stay with the Soweto example, I mean, is there a fence at the school? There should be a minimal level of uh, protection or insurance. I mean, these are minors. These are kids who are in the custody of the school system. They should be protected. No one should be able to walk in. So are there fences? Are there gates is there a security register must the school be aware of, of who has access and who doesn't no of course i mean uh, all our, our our schools are like that they have fences there is an infrastructure to to safeguard the learners uh, so i i know for a fact i mean even if I, you would go there you will find a fence that we do have such now this is like i said it's an issue of a collaboration between parents community educators the school leadership as well as the learners, you know, that we really, they need to assist us. If learners themselves, uh, much like the learners of today that I, that I went to Alex Dal to, to talk to, they were able to say that they do sensitize educators in some instances that there's a learner with a knife, you know, and, and that's what we want. That's the type of collaboration we want. That as soon as learners see, know something that could be a de of detriment or danger to them, communicate, let us yeah. act. But there needs to be decisiveness. But there and also really needs... Have... Sorry, MEC, go yeah. ahead. No, no, it's fine. You can continue. But they also... And, and that, for me, again, is going back to the point of what the school um, is both legally and, 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 and ethically responsible for when kids are in school. Um, you know, a, as you say, most of the schools would have the kind of enclosure infrastructure that you talk about. But in, you know, in... in, in, in is it not time then in schools where these things can happen um, that you do uh, regular search and seizures? You said those are already enacted and it'd be interesting to know if the school had that, but also whether it just happens routinely anyway so that no one gets in. Uh, whether, you know, some kid is listening to their parents, some might not have parents. We just may not have that, that sort of extra layer of, um, of, of people behaving, in, in, you know, in a way that they should and not bring these weapons to school. It's going to get in. It's your responsibility to make sure that it's detected before something bad or fatal happens. Yeah, um, of course, that's why I said we must rely, we rely on our children or some some form of... Uh, uh, we do have um, uh, patrollers in some schools. Uh, and, and obviously, you can imagine that when we have to search a thousand plus every day, in the morning, you will need a some. Uh, there's also an issue of discipline. Some of these learners will also begin to defy because patrollers obviously they are not uh, trained to 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 handle such. Uh, they are there for visibility. They are there to deter uh, any potential danger around the school. Uh, so these learners bring them. So the problem, this ball too, to the at home. The, the, what is happening at home? Uh, our parents are not uh, participating in the life 
of their children. And that's and that's 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 the true that's the true reality. Majority of parents don't uh, don't come when we call them as a school. For instance, we, when there's a learner who we catch with some form of a weapon or, or, or drugs. You I think can signal... call the parent, I can tell you, in some instances, the parent never even comes. Yeah. Our signal is a, a bit sketchy there towards the end, uh, MEC, but thank you for giving us your time this evening and just sharing with us uh, what you've managed to glean. Certainly, there needs to be something to address, you know, what's happening at our schools, both from a violence and a culture change perspective.